Well, what's that time again? I decided tonight that I wanted to put this guy together. I do. I did order a, a, um, a 3D printed chassis that I wanted to use for this. Like today, I ordered it, and then I got impatient a couple hours later and decided to just put it together in a kind of a rudimentary style. It's it's not as cram definitely not as crammed in there as the last one, which is currently kind of in some pieces over there. Um, because of a soundboard that's out for repair that got fried because I didn't know what I was doing. So I've done, I hope, I think a much better job. This is definitely a lot cleaner inside. I'm not going to open it up because I think that's part of what killed the last one was that I was having to open it and close it all the time to take the battery cells out. But this is a Saberforge Fallen for those who don't automatically know it. Um, got it during their sale. And that's a Jade Fire sitting over there that will be the next one to get the install. Um, ordered a few Saber Forges parts. Um, their kill key, their recharge port, one of their slotted lit um, activation switches, which are really kind of neat. It, it, these come pre-wired if you order them from them. Actually, I have another one here. Um, so... They come like this, which is neat, definitely, if you have their stuff and you're just doing this plug-and-play thing. Um, I tried initially to snip this off and add on to those wires, but these wires felt a lot flimsier than the ones I'm using. So I ended up desoldering all the wires from the leads here. It was really easy to figure out what was what. Uh, this is some kind of a heat shrink type material. Uh, that I get to focus on here that they that's pressed on and it sticks pretty good you can pull it off if you uh, pick at it for a minute uh, I was actually able to I paid attention to which direction all the wires were turned to get this L shape going and I was able to press this back on so the one inside the saber actually still has this on there I was able to put it back so it's a little extra protection plus I put some heat shrink here to help uh, to help it not pull against all those joints, so stress relief for the joints. But yeah, these things are neat. Um, if you want to order some, get them from Saber Forge's website. I like the way this looks personally. Um, but yeah, I actually was able to get this time to get the recharge port working with the help of some videos from some other Saber people and a couple of diagrams I found. It uh, this one went much much smoother than the one from the custom Saber shop. I still want to try to hook that one up to see if I have a bad piece. I'm just curious at this point, or I'll that or my next order, I'll just get one or two more of their, theirs and try to use it because that would definitely make the other Sabres better. Um, or sorry, Saber Forge, I'll get theirs because it's this nice recess type. Um, maybe not for the J, but we'll go over that in another video one day. Um, it's got the Nano Biscotti in here. I've already downloaded some stuff from Saber Font. Uh, it's Revanish, so I bet you hopefully you can guess which color this one is. I do kind of want to get the other style too, but here we go. Kill key out. I've known both sides of the force, light and dark. I love that, by the way. Red illuminated button with the sections. Oh, wait, let me turn out the lights. This is a deep red, deep red, white LED. That's not going to come through properly on this, but probably look orange or something. Oh, there you have it, my uh, my new saber. 
Okay, I'm pretty happy with this one, and it's and it's probably gonna come back apart again soon, just because I did order the 3D chassis, or I'll cancel that order in a little while. I haven't really decided yet, because I'm actually pretty pleased with the way this one came out on the inside. I mean, I'm I'm kind of happy to leave it the way it is. It's it's got the same plastic uh, wrap inside of it that the other one had. It's a little tighter in there. Um, since the wiring was shorter and definitely cleaner, so were my solders, um, on the board, and it's affixed to a battery that's going to stay inside and not get opened up all the time, I'm kind of inclined to leave it the way it is. Um, it's, I'm actually pretty happy with it. You know, I put some Velcro around. I took a lot of tips from other people building sabers on YouTube, and I've watched so many videos. I can't really think of who all because there were so many of them. Um, uh, Rob from uh, Genesis, uh, Shamim, all you guys, and a bunch of a bunch of others that I'm forgetting to mention. Thanks for putting videos out there on how to do this stuff because it really helps us newbies learn. And man, is this fun! So this is my new one. So it's done or done enough that I'll. Be happy for now. Haven't decided. If there's a new update later, then you know I ripped it apart. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you.